good morning i have traveled down south and it's lovely and sunny and i'm currently at lee valley vela park because i've been very kindly invited by skoda to their recruitment day for their dsi academy so the academy is led by dame sarah story and it's basically a way of encouraging and getting women between 18 and 24 into pro cycling and so it's kind of like mentorship and just giving them loads of advice loads of knowledge loads of support um to get into the world of racing so today there are 18 hopefuls basically battling it out for three spots in the academy and so that's what i'm going to be doing today showing you a little bit behind the scenes and meeting the i guess the, the women that are going to be taking part hoping for those three spots so Let's head inside and let's let's see what's happening. This is like the, one of the first videos I've done where I'm not actually riding, so it's quite nice just to be able to to watch other people put themselves in the hurt locker. So yeah, let's head inside and I will show what's going on. attending this morning we've got a jam-packed day but I'm really excited to see what you're made of today we will be cheering you on and making you pushing you to your very best performance enjoy yourself do it with a smile on your face and you'll put in an even better performance so the women are gonna do a series of tests so the first lot are on indoor what bikes and it's going to be a six second three minute and 12 minute power test and then we're going to go outside on the track and then yeah they're going to be tested out there as well so it's going to be pretty pretty tough i've not been on the in a velodrome for years i kind of want to do it <laughs> oh look who else is here yeah. hello how are you finding it yeah it's great i'm just like i'm actually in awe and feeling quite inspired yeah because they're so talented i'm sure there's a spare bike we can get you on honestly i would just embarrass myself here <laughs> I'm like hovering around the snack table like I've been working out all morning. <laughs> yeah. just I know, I've just had a bit of a snack there. I was yeah. like, I'll just sneak one in while no one's I watching. I you'd yeah. One tenth is black. Twelve minutes. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> it's going to be... Right, so I'm with Maddie who was one of the recruits from last year, so she's been through all this testing, was one of the chosen ones. I'd been cycling for about maybe six, seven months, so not very long. I started going out with my dad on bike rides um, and it was only really at that point, that was when I saw the, um, the advert for the DSI Academy um, and thought, you know, I'm just going to apply. Then, since being selected, which I really wasn't expecting, um, we sort of we've done it's been a year full of firsts so i've done my first time trial my first crit race my first road race um and as well as that sort of actually got some titles and achievements within it so it's just been an incredible year of learning and first opportunities all with the mentorship of sarah story of course um and also the support of the girls it's just been like a really really good environment to learn and develop so this year i'm hoping to like build up my fitness even more um, hopefully enter some road races because I'm still quite new to racing. So we're on the outdoor track now and it's going to be a TT for all of the women. Feeling ahead of the TT? Yeah. yeah. It's like it's the fondest. out of the side of the track now and they are putting in so much effort and it is really inspiring I'd like to see that like hunger and passion for I guess the sport of cycling so I think any support that we give the next generation of potential professional cyclists I think it's just awesome this is just such a I'm having such a good day oh my god is this Adam? Adam Bly what is he doing? she's terrible idea <laughs> 
think Adam's also having a bit of fun day, so. Like, how was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was really fun, but the second lap, my legs definitely caught up with me. I could feel they were saying some things. Um, <laughs> screaming, screaming some screaming things. Screaming more like, yeah. Um, but really fun. Definitely hit some PBs and like the... Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. You only make bad decisions in life. Definitely one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you had that bloody fleece on. I think jacket. that's the least of me worries. <laughs> it's not ideal, this mate. That's it, the TT is over, all the girls are gathering together for a little photograph and yeah, they've pretty much done all they can do to get their spot in the uh, DSI Academy, so... Oh, this is awesome, look at them. So many awesome women. My favourite part was meeting everyone, like this whole community that you don't know about when you're in your hometown. Like, how many of us? 18 of us? Plus the three who are on it now and like some others who have graduated. Meeting people that you can ride with and you can train with, like you don't always get that at home. Going on. Right, okay, let's try. We're basically trying to do a little chat with one of the Academy riders and uh, there's music blaring that side. People are taking stuff down that side and we're just like, well, just... Oh, they've turned it off. Okay. Hi, I'm Morgan. Um, I am one of the graduates of the Academy. So I joined the Academy in 2019 and I graduated from the Academy last year. And I'm now actually riding and racing for Story Racing, which is really exciting for this year. So I'm kind of a paracyclist as well as someone who races in the women's field. And when I first joined the Academy, I, I was literally just racing like um, university put on varsity events. Um, and then since then I've done loads of different races and I'm quite in on the para field as well as the women's field and I'm actually kind of at a point where I think moving forwards I might have a kind of a go at getting into a Paralympic Games which is really exciting um, and is what I'm working for at the moment like I'm kind of not putting all my eggs in the basket but that is what the target is so 2024 2028 we'll see I just don't think I will be where I am now like I've had all the races I've experienced I got last year um, yeah the academy has definitely just excelled where I was to where I am now in three years basically. That is the end of the day so I've had such a good time it was so nice meeting so many incredible women who are just so eager to progress their cycling careers I just want to say thanks again to Skoda for inviting me along and if I can do anything to help encourage or promote women into cycling then, then I'm going to do it so I'm going to leave a link below so if any of you know anyone or any women that want to apply for next year's uh, recruitment day i'm going to leave the links below and yeah it's really really good i just want to go and get out of my bike now so i missed it one day not riding i'm like oh, i'm itching to get out. like i want to get on there now but i don't have a track bike with me anyway i'm going to get back when i hit, get my train and I, I will see you all next video lee velo no, leave early. What? Do you not have a flip? You, you need a flip. So, so <laughs> the wind has been crazy. That's why my hair has changed like 10 times. I need to just put a hat on.